Hey guys, we're back to the uh, the uh, grist mill, the powder mill in um, Southwick, Mass. Dixie's already made her way down there. Um, she's excited to be out. Been putting this, not this off, but getting outside off because it's been so darn hot. And not that it's not hot today, but in these woods we got a lot of cover and my plan is to do a little bit of metal detecting in that um that old swimming hole over there now i know there are leeches in here because i remember them from kids when, when, when we were kids but i don't think there's that many and i don't plan on stirring up the uh, mud too much oh which reminds me i forgot my scoop oh well we'll have to make do just have to be careful but anyways, uh, we're going to go over there, metal detect a little bit, see if we can't find some old old stuff. Um, this is a really old, old swimming hole. And we're going to work our way, this is the swimming hole, we're going to work our way down the uh, brook quite a ways and uh, see if we can't find maybe some old coins, old jewelry, old relics. But uh, we'll get back to you when we're down there. Couldn't wait to get in that water. Hey, go easy on that water. But yeah, it looks really, really nice, nice and clear. So that's going to be a huge plus. Um, you ready? I'll be right down there. We'll be right back on our first find. Well, water's. I haven't found any signals yet, which is very surprising because not even any uh, beer tops or pop tops or or anything. We used to travel it on that side over there. But I think we're just going to try cutting down here and then crossing and seeing what we can come up with. We'll take you along for now Ugh. as we go through this little muddy area yeah it's real I wouldn't want to oop came across the multi-signal sound right down in here. I think if we're careful, take it slow, take a look at it. Well, might not cut ourselves. Who knows? Maybe we'll find whatever it is that's down here. Well, a piece of copper pipe. At least it looks copperish. Maybe some kind of tent stake or something. Somebody used a piece of pipe. I am not sure, but can't tell if that's pink or if it's copper. didn't bring my pouch either so I guess this was kind of spontaneous I really didn't know where I wanted to go today but we will make our way through yuck 
Oh, yeah. Careful, dicks. Look at all this stone, red stone. I think if we can get just a little bit past here. What are you looking at, Dixie? What are you looking at? Yeah, that's pretty deep. Why don't you go up and around? I don't know if you might have seen one of my videos where I talked about uh, getting attacked by a bunch of bees with my uncle. It's about half a mile that way. Half a mile, three quarters of a mile. But way up on land. Alright, this seems like the bedrock's right there, so we'll make our way through here. <clears throat> I wouldn't imagine the uh The water gets too crazy, the current down here, to be able to drive anything out of that pool further downstream, but you never know. This is much better. <laughs> powder mill that was up there there's an old cemetery in town and um, along with the new cemetery but ten people lost their lives at that powder mill from fires and explosions and they're buried in the old cemetery What's nice is the bedrock that's right here. What are you doing? Hey! Multiple sounds here. Hmm. Well, we're just gonna have to uh, see what we can find. There's anywhere from a 31 down to a 15. I think it's pretty big though, but you never know. <sighs> Get over here. Come on. Ah. Hmm. Would you look at that? Ha. 
Now that is an old shovel. Wow. <clears throat> I've never even seen one with this kind of uh, where the handle would go in. Very interesting. Well, let me see if there's anything else. Yeah, that was it. Make a pile of relics there. Now that was pretty <clears throat> pretty cool finding that shovel. Not exactly what we're after, but still pretty cool. Was gonna bring my pole with me, but at some point I took my rooster tail off and it's only the swivel. And memory does not serve me as far as why I did that. Very peaceful down here. Well, I'm gonna bring you back on our next signal. Okay, we have what looks to be an old hubcap there, but right here, we have 23 to 26, which could be a dime. That would be great if it was a silver dime. So, let's get the pinpointer out. Seems like a small target. I'm excited. I know how irritating the sound of a pinpointer can be. Drives me crazy watching some of the guys. Unfortunately, if you don't, you might never find the target. We will keep working at this. can only be so far down because it's all bedrock. Oh, that water feels so good. Ah, uh, no wonder that signal sounded so good. 
of a bats can aluminum well well at least it got me to kneel down well let's see what kind of hubcap this is definitely a pretty old one Pontiac I don't know if you can see that or not. Alright guys. We'll get back to you. I used to know the history quite a bit. About the Indians that used to come down here too. And uh, I guess they knew... A lot of the people that were in the area. Um, I haven't freshened myself up before coming down here, so I don't want to make false false information pass that on. But uh, I'm going to try doing some of this upper land area here, because I would imagine people traveled and the uh, there's houses all along the main route, or the, it's not really a main route, but. There's houses up there and they've been there for a long time. And this would be a nice area, a nice flat area to come down to. So maybe we can find something over here. We'll get back to you. Okay, we had a dead on nine right in this hole. I didn't want to spend too much time digging it out, but. It's right here, so we might as well see what it is. That's odd that the pinpointer won't pick it up. Huh. That is really odd. So, I guess we'll have to do this a different way. Well, piece of aluminum. That was it. Piece of aluminum. All right, well, I'm going to try up in this flat area over here. And uh, we'll bring you back if we find a, a signal. <laughs> 